If your Cirrus is equipped with the Garmin GDL60 data link module, then IQ Pro is your gateway to enable automatic avionics database updates. To get connected, go to the Settings tab in your user menu, then Connected Accounts. IQ Pro will prompt you to a required sign-in with your Garmin credentials to pair your Fly Garmin account with IQ Pro to enable the automatic database update feature. And for those flyers who prefer Jeppesen charts, well, you can integrate those too by linking your Fly Garmin account with Jeppesen. Sign into your Fly Garmin account online and along the right side under Jeppesen Account, select Link Account to Fly Garmin and follow the prompts. With all applicable accounts connected, hop into your Cirrus and follow these steps to enable automatic database updates. First, to minimize download times for large databases, prioritize your favorite Wi-Fi network instead of cellular to do the heavy lifting whenever you're in range of that network. So on GTC1, select Services, then Networks and Pairing, and then the Settings button for External Networks. Next, to fully configure the system, on GTC1, press Services, Connect Setup, then Settings, and confirm that the Remote Aircraft Status button is green. Now, set your Automated Database Downloads mode to Battery or Aircraft Power. This will ensure database updates are enabled and available either through your aircraft's power when you turn Battery 1 and 2 on, or automatically through your standby convenience power bus when your battery switches are off and Cirrus IQ Pro is in standby mode. If your Cirrus is parked for an extended period of time, it's worth considering changing this mode to aircraft power only for downloading only when you've turned the battery switches on or simply to off to completely disable background automatic database downloads to minimize any remaining battery draw. If databases were ever unable to update in your Cirrus, your avionics are still capable of accepting manual database updates through an SD card. In fact, the priority for database updates in your GDL60 equipped Cirrus is in this order. Number one, through an SD card. Number two, through the wireless database concierge in Garmin Pilot. And then three, the lowest priority would be automatic downloads. So that means, to ensure that automatic database updates have effectively been bumped to the top of that priority list, then confirm that all SD cards installed in the PFD or MFD do not have any database files stored on them. That way, the avionics will skip the SD cards when looking for new databases and move directly to the GDL60 to enable automatic, over-the-air database updates. To be clear, all other document files can remain on the SD cards you just need to remove those database files. Remember, databases are updated every 28 or 56 days, depending on the charts, so automatic updating should only require minimal activity from your airplane's batteries. You can check the last time downloads occurred and when to expect the next cycle through GTC1 by clicking Services, Connect Setup, Events. Once the aircraft settings are complete, the status of databases on the aircraft are shared to IQ Pro. A user just clicks Aircraft menu, then Databases, and the databases that have just been downloaded are displayed in a list. Should a database become out of date or requires attention, a yellow icon appears next to it in the list. Experience greater convenience and connection through the automatic database update feature available exclusively with Cirrus IQ Pro.